evening and welcome to the University Report. I'm Rachel Schneider. And I'm Amy Warshe. Here's the tonight top stories. Citing reasons of security and safety of all people who utilize campus buildings, facilities management, risk management, the deans of the colleges, and the university police department have changed the operational hours for UW Platteville academic buildings. During the academic year, buildings will be open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Select buildings will be open at the request of the Registrar's Office, the Academic Dean, and the approval of the Chief of Police or their designee. During the summer session, buildings will be open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Select buildings will be open at the request of the Registrar's Office and the Academic Dean and their approval from Chief, Chief of Police. On holidays, all academic buildings will be closed on legal holidays recognized by the State of Wisconsin and the UW system. The policy state applies to all buildings except for the Center for the Arts, the Carmen Library, and Marquee Pioneer Student Center, and the Williams Field House, which have their own websites where hours of operation may be found. This week, the Students for Success is selling cans of crushed soda outside Lecture Hall 103 in Doudna Hall. For all, you can buy a can for $1 and have it sent to your crush on February 12th. You can pick from three flavors, grape, which is for friendship, orange, which is for a crush, and strawberry, which is for love. All proceeds go towards the Platteville Walk for MS. Continuing Education hosted an event this Tuesday, February 9th, about LinkedIn. This event was to help individuals create, perfect, and update their professional social media profiles on LinkedIn, with information about how your profile is 14 times more likely to be viewed by others. Led by Bob Bergeron, a branch and development manager for the QTI group, led the hands-on workshop to show how to represent yourself as the strongest possible candidate and to network your way to a strong to a new career. Human Resources is pleased to announce a new employee assistance work and life program called Life Matters. This is a free confidential service to you and anyone living in your household. You can call 1-800-364-6433 24 hours a day every day of the year. A representative is available at all times to provide assistance on issues such as depression, family or job concerns, general health, parenting concerns, and more. These services are available for you at no cost. For, informa for additional information, you can go to mylifematters.com. The men's basketball team squared off against the UW Whitewater Warhawks Wednesday night at the Bo Ryan Court. The Pioneers fell to the Warhawks despite Boston Johnson's 30-point night. The Pioneers have lost four straight games since defeating the Warhawks 76-73 in overtime at their last meeting in Whitewater. The Pioneers' next matchup will be this Saturday at UW River Falls. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. The UW Platteville Human Resource Department is inviting everyone to join them for the 8th Annual 10,000 Steps Challenge. Teams of four or five people will track their steps and attempt each to walk 10,000 steps a day. The goals of this program are to promote good health, increase daily activity levels, and build teamwork and have fun. More information is available by checking on the giant orange button at uwplatteville.edu slash human resources. This Tuesday, February 9th, there was a continuing education event about the basics of digital f cameras from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Attendees were able to receive basic help on their personal cameras and learning things they may not have known before. The class focused heavily on the different types of settings most cameras have and how you can use these settings to improve your photos. The event was led by Stefan Glassman and was not only informative but for beginners, but also very entertaining. On Wednesday night, February 10th, inside Oswick Hall, the Continuing Education Center held a spe special session called No Needles Required. 
This was the first session and went over hand and arm knitting in order to create infinity scarves. These scarves take only about 30 minutes to make and are great gift ideas. For more information on future se sessions, check out the Continuing Education Center's website at uwplat.edu slash continuing slash enrichment. This Thursday night, February 11th, the Green Campus Project will be screening a showing of the documentary taped from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in Luden Lecture Hall. This showing is meant to raise awareness about the damaging effects of plastic bottle usage and the necess necessity of accessing clean water, pure drinking water. Here's what Platteville students are planning for Valentine's Day. Uh, I have a long weekend getaway planned with my girlfriend. It should be a very fun time. I was thinking I would eat three entire boxes of chocolates by myself while watching every episode of Sherlock and then maybe send a text message to my girlfriend. My plans for Valentine's Day uh, would be to spend time with my best friend who is also single, so we're going to drive down to St. Louis and do the Valentine's Day special at Waffle House um, because we're both single and we really want waffles, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Uh, plans are to head up to Stevens Point, hang out with my girlfriend, go on a nice date, got a couple gifts for her, and just kind of spend the weekend and have a good time. Getting a, sharing a pizza with my grandparents, that's about it. Uh, my plans for Valentine's Day are watching horror movies by myself in my room. This Valentine's, my husband and I are going to go watch the band Untamed at Barn 23 in Dodgeville because I'm friends with the guitar player, so it should be fun. Thank you for watching the University Report. Next week, we'll hopefully have our switcher back. <laughs> I'm Amy Warshay. And I'm Rachel Schneider.